Chat, I feel like I have to listen to this first now. I got nothing on this type of music. Come on, bro. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay, hey, put a put a put a Y in the chat if y'all think we should listen to the interlude first and then go to the, the song. I like the song already though. Please do interlude instead. It's only right. Look, see, all right, y'all okay, so, y'all talking to me. I know they're not gonna say it all right, but some of the women had a problem with the class. Right. So how did you feel about the class personally? Uh I I kinda felt, you know, it hit home. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I was just like, Oh, okay, See, look, chat. Look, chat. This is why we had to listen to it, bro. The perfect backstory for the song. Ah, chat. Huh? You know, when he's getting on me, I do get a little emotional about it. Um, and I think it's just like being corrected about things that I feel like, you know, I, I don't think I'm doing, but I am doing. You know, him really just trying to crack down on things, like make sure that I'm right. So, yeah, I do get. Hey, bro, like what they talking about right now is some real stuff right here. This is some real stuff right here. I, nah, it's something about a woman that can just take accountability, bro. And, and bro, like, it is something about a woman that can take accountability and really humble down themselves and say, you know what? He look, he really looking out for me. Even though I don't want to hear it, even though I don't like the correction that's being given to me, I need to humble down and I need to listen because he's not telling me nothing wrong. You know what I mean? It might be harsh. He might say it in a way that I don't really agree with. But this is my husband. This is the person that that you know is is guiding me in the in the steps. Oh no, she got a husband, bro. She got a husband, bro. She got a husband, bro. I'm pretty sure they no, all married in this. Uh, I ain't gonna hold you though because she she pretty much always says that. So that's you know what I'm saying. It's honest. No, I seriously. Whether it feels natural or not, she, she, it's <laughs> so. So, do you think it's a situation that when he comes off and tell you, you feel some type of way because you're no, you know that you're not doing what you're supposed to do? Right, like it's so hard to feel the swallow. So, like at, sometimes at night, like when I'm just on my own, I'm reflecting on what was said. I cry, like because I feel like it's just a hard pill to swallow. You really have to look deep into yourself. And Hey, you know what this kind of shows as well, though, which is kind of heartbreaking a little bit, but the lack of father figures in our in our sister's lives, you know, what I mean, the lack of, of, of men that try to guide them and teach them correctly. You know what I mean? Like that's what that's what this kind of shows a little bit because and it's sad. It's sad because like uh fathers need to be there for his daughter and his son, obviously, but his daughter for sure. You know what I mean? Like a a woman that's well instructed, bro, and has some wisdom about her is like a beautiful thing. And it's it it makes it ten times more like beautiful when she um she has to come up out of that old old phase it becomes the new woman you know what i mean but it's, it it actually also kind of breaks my heart a little bit that she has to go through all of that just to be like that when she could have been instructed in righteousness at a young age you know what i mean and her father could have instructed her her mother could have instructed her on how to cater to her husband how to maintain a man what to do and what not to do in a marriage and things of that nature but we so we got so far from them that now the husband has to teach the wife how to be a wife in the marriage you know what i mean and this one it, it is a beautiful thing 
But at the same time, it's also like a, a system that needs to be broken to where you, a woman shouldn't have to wait until she's married to learn how to be a wife. You know what I mean? That's, and, and you know what I mean? A man shouldn't have to wait until he's married to learn how to be a husband either. Like, these are things that need to be taught before we even, you know what I mean, get into those phases. But, man, this is some real stuff, bro. I'm glad that, why did nothing, yeah, bro, y'all, y'all right. Y'all right, chat. Y'all right. Holy Nation always got my back. He's telling me what I said, the Lord, it's like, dang, it's not just him saying this. This is what the scriptures are telling me. So that makes me emotional because I'm not going to repeat whatever the scripture tells me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, sometimes, and and I look at myself like, dang, I need to check myself. I need to make sure that I'm right. So that I mean that's one of those things where it's like I know the ups and downs of like a relationship, especially like a, a relationship in the truth, like people don't understand that we still have those ups and downs that happen. For sure. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I agree. But she wouldn't have too many ups and downs if you just keep it down. Hey, now that's facts, though. Hey, those facts, though. He said we wouldn't really have too many up and downs if we just keep the commandments. And that's true. That's true, bro. I mean, I mean, obviously we don't have some, but we wouldn't have as many ups and downs if we just kept the commandments with each other. That's what, and that's the thing, bro. When we talking about love, that's what love is. You know what I'm saying? That's what love is. Is being able to apply the commandments with your people. You know what I mean? Like when you don't, when you when you don't want to. You know what I mean? If if when your flesh doesn't want to, should I say? Because I, I don't want to say y'all don't want to. You know what I mean? Y'all should always want to keep the commandments with your brother. But when your flesh don't want to keep the commandments with your brother, and then you do so, that is true love. That's the real love. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to a marriage. You know what I mean? Like when your when your flesh saying I don't want to listen to him because of this or that. You know what I mean? And you humble yourself down and still listen. That's love. People don't probably look at it as love, but that's love. You know what I mean? When you in when you get into an argument, you know what I'm saying with your woman, and you're supposed to dwell with her with wisdom, but you want to sit here and pick a fight. But then you humble yourself down and say, you know what? You know what? I need to use this opportunity to teach her. You know what I mean? Or I need to use this opportunity to calm myself down and be able to help her. That's wisdom. That's that's love, bro. Come on, bro. Stop. Stop. Y'all know. Y'all gonna get me up in here, boy. Y'all gonna... I just love seeing Israel be in love with each other. Like, for real. There's no greater feeling in my spirit, bro, when I be seeing our our people, you know, take care of each other, do right by each other, bro. There's no greater feeling in the world to see that, bro, because then I, like, if you don't, if I, like, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, Chad. If you're a man that can't, that can't, like, have your household together. It's hard. It's hard to like deal with people like that. You know what I mean? Because, and I mean, everybody's not gonna be in it to like uh, just have it immediately either. You know what I'm saying? But 
it's a certain way that you just got to be able to dwell. You know what I mean? It, it it just brings peace around you. You ever seen if look, bro, if you ever been in a situation where you was in a rocky state with your spouse and then you got like around somebody that was like they both was at peace, they on butt heads and stuff like that, bro. It 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 like well in situations depending on how the situation goes, if y'all both humble about it, it can strengthen you. But if y'all both uh it uh wicked about it, it can hurt y'all because y'all both gonna look at that and be like all envious, like, oh, he treats her this way and you don't do that for me. And you know what I mean? Instead of trying to build and and and, and becoming that that they you know truly should inspire to be. But we we don't we don't really wanna um we don't really wanna get to a point where we can't see eye to eye, you know what I mean? Like it's it's just crazy, bro. It's just crazy. Like it's just crazy to know that when you have somebody that really loves you, that really can vibe with you, that can really that 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 seek to keep the commandments with you, the most beautiful thing in the world. I get so emotional, but you're still my baby. Somebody that got how passion. Can I, how can I? Together as we evolve. Man, these sisters, bro. Hey, I'm, look, I ain't gonna lie, chat. When I drop, because I'm gonna do an album reaction to this probably tomorrow. I'm gonna have to do it. Look, we can chat. Talk to him, chat. Talk to him. Talk to him. Don't tell my wife, chat. All right. But I'm gonna try to get her up here and we're gonna react to the song. We're gonna react to the album together. All right. All right. Don't tell her though. Don't tell her I said it though. No, I said it. Because right. I want I want to see her reaction to it, dude. You know what I mean? Alright. Bro, broke a leg out here. <laughs> broke a leg out here. And then and then little me watch. She be watching <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> oh. Oh, chat. Alright, man. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. 